Hey, what's up, guys? It's Timon here, and welcome back to another episode of uh, playing Legendary Game of Heroes. Uh, so this week's event is, uh, I guess, called Ride of Waves, and it's a uh, water affinity uh, Slayer event. And so it started yesterday. I didn't really um, do a whole lot yet. I kind of figure I'll wait for the recording to, you know, get the packs, talk about units, and talk about uh, the bosses. So let's go ahead and do, do that. So first, let's take a look at the packs that are available. And I have 3,200 gems, and I think what I can do is uh, probably spend buy up to tier three, because I think if I remember correctly, what you do is 300, then 700, and then for the third tier, you get 500 gems back. Uh, so you spend 900 there, so 1,900 uh, gems for this pack, and then you can then spend another. A thousand gems to get uh, up to tier two, and which will give you a guaranteed unit for uh, the second pack. Yes, so let's do that. So let's go ahead and uh, and remember the if you have three thousand uh, gems, the order matters here. If you want to buy up to tier three, you want to do this here. Uh, you want to make sure you buy this pack first to get your because you need to spend fourteen hundred to get the five hundred gems back. So yes, let's go ahead and do that. So the first uh, three hundred. I'm gonna get uh, at least a three-star Slayer. I'm hoping it's going to be uh, one of the feature units, but I figured that it would be uh, more likely for this one, which is uh, the required unit for you to get the second free um, feature unit. So let's uh, go ahead and continue on. Uh, so in this case, you also get a Steel Sea Witch. Uh, so let's go ahead and open the pack here. And again, the hope is to get Ar Arthur. Uh, so we have three water units, that's good, so let's see what we get here. Uh, so another one of those units. Here's the Steel Witch, and... Yep, so no luck here. Uh, my luck has been pretty terrible. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy the third tier. Uh, so I'll spend 1400 and I'll get 500 back. Let's, let's see if this one gives us any luck here. Alright, so let's go ahead and open so we get the keys. Here's the 500 gems. Uh, so I get another uh, Ordic Dragling. Um, these Dragon units, you know, I get a whole lot of them now. I'm not really sure how useful they are. Let me know uh, if you are using the Dragon unit still. I think with the recent changes uh, with the feature heroes per pack now, I just find myself not really uh, bothering to upgrade them anymore. But let me know if you find other uses for them. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay, so another unit that I don't use, uh, that is the, um, the Earth or Terror, and let's see what this one is. <sighs> okay, so I didn't get any of the feature units, and let me know, you know, this is getting really frustrating for me, I'm not sure if this is the same for you guys, but I kind of, you know, I would like to be able to get at least one of the feature units, you know, um, earlier on, even if it's a, a low level, just... This is the reason why I don't spend any gems on this pack, uh, but let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, you know, let's move on. I think what I'll do is, I just saw this now, there is an option for a VIP pack as well. This is one where if you spend a bit more, uh, you can also get a guaranteed uh, unit at tier 5 or tier 6. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of here. So let's go and open the pack. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough gems to uh, get multiple units. So that's the that's the trade-off here. All right, so another draggling. And now let's go ahead and open the pack for my guaranteed uh, feature unit. And here it is. This is the, the Butcher, the Curse of the Shark. And if we can take a look at the... Okay, so let's go ahead and continue, and then we'll talk about the unit. All right, so we purchased the unit, and uh, out of all that, I only got one feature unit, uh, which is really unfortunate, and I do need to sell a bunch too. Uh, so let's just take a look here. Um, let's take a look at some of the uh, the bonuses and, and what you get out of here. Uh, so this is a Slayer event, and uh, so where is he? So the Butcher is a uh, water affinity attacker and also a creature hero. And the battle skill and the leadership, leader skill. So leader skill uh, at 6 stars would be 300% damage, obviously, and health for all water creature heroes. 
So this is the same as all the previous events where this feature hero will help its own feature heroes. And then the battle skill is the perfect predator, which uh, basically deals 200% attack with each weapon. I guess he holds two weapons, in, uh, one in each hand. And if there is the blood in the water, then he bites them for 500% attack. The uh, blood in the water occurs from one of the other uh, unit's uh, passive abilities. So what I need to do right now is I need to uh, keep one unit one of these because I will get my free unit from there but I'm going to sell the rest uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one and here I'm gonna sell the draglings because I don't need them I'll keep one of these uh, so let's see I don't use this unit and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think I need to sell a couple more actually I'm gonna sell three or sell six Let's see, I think I'm still over by three because I have a couple units that I don't want to lose. Uh, but that's okay, I'm just gonna go, let's go ahead and um, do a fight. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a shark attack. Uh, so let's claim my reward here. I haven't really played a lot, so I'm 195th right now. So let's take a look here and see what we can do. Uh, so first let's go ahead and, let's just go ahead and attack the... Um, the guild boss, right? So again, now with these events, you have the infernal boss, which takes up nine keys. You, you can take a look at the rewards here. Uh, it does cost you nine keys, but you'll get three of them back, and then you get a, a, a really big reward for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do the first one because I don't have a lot of keys. And then the, this is the team that I have right now. So I'm using Kitta for my leader because she provides a 200% uh, damage for all water heroes. I don't have a very good water team right now. And uh, my other uh, units are the two uh, Aphrodite cards and um, my two Ken cards. Now, I'm still balancing. I'm trying to figure out the right balance here because Ken does provide 300% uh, damage for all water attack heroes, which is, um, uh, Aphrodite is a water attacker. And now that I got the shark, I might be able to just switch him out uh, and then put in the shark once I can level him up a little bit, so we'll see. But for now, this is the this is the deck that I'm going with. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and uh, increase my uh, slots. Let's go ahead and battle with three three keys. And let's see here. I believe uh, the Blackbeard's uh, skill or or his, um, his his the spell he casts is Panic, and I don't know if I have one that actually. Um, counters that yet. We can talk about that a little later. Uh, so right now my strategy, which is not working really well, is to try and build up um, a power gem with my water unit, uh, but I'm not really seeing it. And then now the, the, the nice thing about Ken is every time you match a, a water gem, you'll, get, you'll be able to use this um, battle skill. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Okay, so here you go. I can do this. Alright, so now that I have the water power gem, let's try and build up another, here I go, I can do the green. Don't forget to uh, take advantage of the, the additional damage you can do here, and then let's see. Right, so the thing with panic is it reduces the amount of time you have to do matches, and so uh, your number of multipliers will be reduced, and so you really have to be really quick. And, and ideally, uh, you want to be bringing in units that can counter it so that you can actually do your match. Because as you can see, I didn't really do a whole lot of damage just because uh, I can only do one or two matches at a time. And that's the that's the side effect of panic. Okay, uh, It doesn't seem to be a big deal, but it really builds up where you really only get a chance to maybe do one or two matches before it, uh, your time's up. And that can really significantly reduce your uh, your ability to do attack. Uh, so that's pretty much um, the event right there. Uh, so this is a Slayer event. So you know uh, the ones that you'll be able to see is looks like you you'll get the Rage Ifrit or the Avatar of Rage, um, and then all the other fire heroes. I'm interested to see what other. So you also get to see the star uh, sort of the Starfall av Avant as a dark unit. Anyways, uh, so this is just the beginning. I, I'm just starting out. Uh, let's take a look at the forge, if there's anything new. Uh, so it looks like it's the same as the last event, so you still have the ability to um, 
to forge the, the Order of Twin Dragons. I'll talk about, about that in the next video. And then also the Dragon Forge is available. Unfortunately, they don't sell the pack for the Dragon Shield or the Sword anymore. So I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to actually uh, forge it. Uh, I am working on the Starblade Blacksmith. Uh, and also right now the Alteran Crap Shop is one where I'm, I think I can also uh, make some strides in. So my next video will be focused on forging. Anyways, that is all for the video today. I'm just getting started and I'm hoping that um, I can make some headway. Uh, the next goal is to get my uh, second three-star butcher. And all I need to do is make sure that I get um, about, what is it again? Um, it's a little small here. Uh, 250,000 trophies and I'll be able to uh, get my second card. Uh, so I'm going to keep, keep going and then maybe uh, come back in a few days just to see how I do. Uh, hopefully I'll move up a little bit in the this, in this spots so that I don't get kicked out of the King League. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, hope you're uh, doing well in this event. And uh, let me know if there's any, you know, any tips or strategies for, for this particular event. And I will uh, talk to you next time. Thanks.